Hi there! Do you manage to solve this primary 5 math problem sum on fractions? Let's read the question together, shall we? Miss Lala spent one third of her money on books. She spent three quarters of her remaining money on a pair of shoes. She spent another five dollars on her meal and had one sixth of the original amount of money left. So we are supposed to find the cost of a pair of shoes. Now it's time to analyze the question again. So how many people are being mentioned in this question? One person, right? And it's Miss Lala. And there's also only one item that's involved, okay, which is money. The problem sum then goes on to talk about how Miss Lala spends her money, first on a pair of shoes, and then on her meal. Okay? And from this phrase over here, of her remaining money, we know that we are being tested on the remainder concept once again. And as we go on to read the question, we are given a very interesting piece of information. Okay, You see this one-sixth of the original amount of money left, Okay, this phrase over here? This piece of information actually compares the amount of money left to the original amount of money that she had at first. Okay, Something quite different, right? So how is this information useful to us? You'll see that very soon. Now it's time to solve the question. As usual, we'll start with what we know. So let us draw the model for this problem sum to help us see what is going on. Miss Lala spent one third of her money on books. Okay, so this means that she spent one unit out of a total of three units of her money on books. So if this model represents all the money that she had, okay, we'll divide it into three portions, and one of the portions would be spent on books. Next, we are given that she spent three quarter of her remaining money on a pair of shoes. Where's the remainder? Okay. It would be this part over here, correct? We need 4 units, but here we only have 2 units. So, how? What do we do? In order to turn this into 4 units, we need to divide each unit over here okay, into 2 smaller units. Now that we have 4 units here, we know that she spent 3 of them okay, on a pair of shoes. So to make things simpler, since we have divided each big unit into two smaller units, let's do the same over here for easier comparison later. Alright? Now, what else do we know? We know that she spent another $5 on her meal, so let's label the $5 in the diagram. Frankly speaking, we have no idea how long this $5 should be, so this is just a rough sketch. And in the end, we know that after spending her money on some things, she had one eighth of the original amount left. So, what does it mean? Okay, this means that this portion over here, okay, is one unit out of the eight units. So, since everything adds up to give us eight units, do you agree that this portion over here should represent seven units? So far, so good. Now. Do you know how to go about solving the rest of the question yourself? Since we know that this part over here consists of 1 unit plus $5, we know that every part consists of that same 1 unit plus $5. Correct? So let's add that information in. You get something like this. Alright. And then how can we make use of this to help us find the cost of the shoes? Okay. From the model, we know that this whole part here consists of 7 units, correct? And these 7 units is actually made up of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units plus another 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, correct? So in other words, 5 units these white portions over here plus thirty dollars would be equivalent to these seven units here. Alright? So with this piece of information we can then move on to find what is the value of two units. Okay? So two units equals to thirty dollars and we can take thirty divided by two 
to find the value of 1 unit, okay, which is $15. Now, how much did her pair of shoes cost? Okay, it cost 3 units, okay, plus 5, 10, 15, $15. So let's find the value of 3 units first. 3 units would be $15 times 3, which gives us $45. And then to find the cost of the shoes, we need to add 15 more dollars. Correct? Cost 5 times 3 over here. So $45 plus $15 would give us a total cost of $60. Okay? And that's our answer. Thank you for watching, and we hope this video helped.